Hey guys, welcome to deepcreditors.com. We'll now show you how to make most out of our online courses. Deep Creditors online courses are based on self-paced motivated learning, interactive apps, no coding required, one-click copy and paste if you do wish to code, access to real credit data, self-test problems, course badges, and much more. To get started, you would have to install Python via the Underconda distribution. We have created for you as a video on how to get started. We place a link to the video in the comments below. Please do go to our website, deepcreditors.com, to download data and code, register for our online training courses by going to Training Online. You'll find two training courses, one in Python, the other one in R, to get you started. We recommend you work with two screens. On screen one, you may have access to the training portal, and on screen two, you might have your integrated development environment such as Jupyter Notebook, Spider, or RStudio. Our training courses come with three elements. First, training pages. Second, activities, including interactive apps. And third, sandbox problems. Let's have a look at our training portal. You access our training portal by going to Training Online. If you're a first-time user, you would have to register. And if you're a second-time user, you can use your login credentials to access the portal. On the landing page, you'll find a link to Python and a link to R courses. Let's have a look at one of our courses. Our courses consist of training material, interactive apps, and sandbox problems. The training material includes Python code you can copy the Python code by clicking in the upper right corner on the symbol and you can copy paste this Python code into your integrated development environment, in our case, Jupyter Notebook. You also have access to a number of interactive apps. Let's have a look at the first one. Our app data distribution allows you to select features using the upper right corner control panel. In this case, I've chosen the loan to value ratio at loan origination. We see the majority of loans are originated at an 80% loan to value ratio. The minimum loan to value ratio is zero and the maximum loan to value ratio is 119.8%. In a second interactive app, we can explore the loan to value ratio. In this app, we have two charts. On the left hand side, we have the periodic repayment of principal and interest. And on the right hand side, we have loan to value ratios. We see the original loan to value ratio, the current loan to value ratio that shows rejected amortization of loans using the original house price, and the dynamic loan to value ratio that is based on time varying house prices. In the upper right corner, again, you find a controls panel in which you can change the input assumptions, including the property value, the property appreciation, the principal balance, the interest rate, and the maturity. As an example, I can set the interest rate from three to zero percent. Let's have a look at another course, our machine learning course. In our machine learning course, we cover standalone techniques, neural networks, ensemble techniques, and machine learning for LGDs. Let's have a look at the interactive app for neural networks. In this interactive app, you can select the number of neurons of a hidden layer. You can also select the features of your model, and after model estimation, you can show the model performance. Now in our case, we start off with a simple neural network with one neuron based on the features liquidity, equity, interest rate and FICO score. You can add or delete features as you like. And the chart shows you the parameter estimates between the features and the hidden layer and the hidden layer and the outcome variable default time. If we click on model performance, we see standard visualization 
of the model performance with performance metrics in the upper left corner, the real fit diagram in the upper right corner, the calibration curve in the lower left corner, and the fit histogram in the lower right corner. The meaning of these validation outputs we learn and explain in detail in our second course. Now over to you. Please add in the comments below what other cool credit risk apps you would like to see next. And we'll make it happen. Have a great day. Bye bye.